Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. If you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Sarah is going to be minimally in this vlog unless she decides to vlog while I'm gone. I will be if in you, the same if, spot. So if you want, if you get a review of Eat, Pray, Love, if you watch, <laughs> I a started new, that movie. If you watch a different movie, or you and Eve have fun playing, maybe vlog a little bit. Yeah, you never know. I've um, been relaxing. I'm going to meet up with our friend Matt over at Universal, and we're doing Halloween Horror Nights. Evers, what are you doing? Don't wink at us. Take a nap. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, I made it to Halloween Horror Nights, but this is the first time I've gotten here with such a long queue to get in. Usually I'm here way earlier, but I left to come here and I got like a mile away from the apartment and I was like, oh wait Sarah, we forgot to do your progesterone and oil shot, so I had to turn around and help Sarah with that. But Matt is way closer to the gate. I forgot if they open up the Blue, the blue Man Group entrance. I don't think they do for horror nights. Oh, I mean, they open up the gate. They're, letting, they're scanning people in, so I'll get in there eventually. I think the I think the Blue Man Group entrance, which is like a side entrance, if you didn't know, I think it's just for just for resort resort stairs. I got. I'll figure it out. I'll get. I'll get it. All right, it is 7:12. I got my buddy here, Matt. We'll put his link down below. He does a sweet Disney coffee, so I gotta throw some appreciation at that. You guys know how much I love coffee. Check out his YouTube, Instagram, right? Yep. Those two medium journal on Twitter, are you? No, just Instagram and YouTube. Stay away from Twitter. It's a dirty place. <laughs> um, he's never been to HHN. That was your first house ever, right? Ever. I've never been to HHN before. Did, how did you? What, how'd you hit? How'd you okay. Like it? Uh, that you, was the us house. Yes. I you did not it. scream like a baby like I do. I did not. No. Uh, I loved it. I, I can't wait to do the rest of them. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited for you to see the different themes and like level of like, they were strict to the movie with that, but like some of the original content yeah. were just like monster blood and guts. Oh. Yeah. So, we're gonna do HHN. We're, Matt said goal of three houses, but he has no time limit on tonight. So that tells me we're doing at least five houses, I think. Fingers crossed, crowds stay low. Spooky fair zone during the daylight with our good camera. I bought our good camera today and never done that instead of using my cell phone. This is what I like to see Nightingale 20 minutes and Depths of Fear 15. Look at this fun little commercial they're advertising back here. So here we are, mine's for Depths of Fear. It says 15 minutes, this might be 15 20, but it's going quickly, it's all the way over there. Oh, it's been the longest wait of the night, I think, about, we're at 20 minutes now. Maybe 25 minutes by the time we get in. It's the third, third house of the night. Look at these, look at these scary, scary chainsaws. It's voted scariest house so far. If Graveyard Games is truly 25 minutes. We are about to steal it. That is amazing. All right, so we just left Nightingale, right? Nightingale. Um, we, we didn't talk about, what did we do before that? Uh, we got excited. We, Depths of Fear. Depths of Fear. Yeah. Depths of Fear that was, was okay. One. It was good. Nightingale's, that was my middle. I've been on that three times now. First one was terrible. Second one was amazing. This was in between. But Matt, what'd you think? I like that one the best. He, so far. He takes himself to like some gruesome, so I'm excited to see a few of the other scare zones and houses because we have more gruesome to see. I interrupt this Halloween Horror Nights from my room. I'm still watching Eat, Pray, Love. I feel like I'm somebody who has to like watch every minute, so I'm like constantly pausing and playing whenever I get up and do something, so I'm still watching it. Um, it's kind of cool, like the mentality of it all is like totally where we had to be with this round of IVF and it just felt like really peaceful and it felt so like everything kind of fell into place when we were more accepting and more um 
just like less tense about it. And um, I don't know, it just like gave me that much more courage that like, this is where we're supposed to be. Like, we've got this, we're good. So it's kind of cool that this is like the message that this movie has given me. I FaceTimed Chelsea for a while, which was awesome. Um, made some dinner, just like soup, nothing fancy. Um, ate a lollipop that Jane and Tom sent us. And um, just been enjoying my my bed and my rest. Now back to whatever shenanigans Peter's got going on. All right. What has been voted as the scariest house of HHN 2019? Graveyard Games. Super cool. It's not as gruesome, but I hope you get the pants scared off of you. I hope so. We'll find out in about five minutes. I just left Graveyard Games. I thought it was a little more lackluster. We missed a bunch of scares and the line was so congested we kept stopping. It was a little dull. There but, wasn't much action in but, there. So that was kind of a bust, but still a great night. Four houses down and it's only like nine o'clock. We're about to go do some dark scare zones and maybe grab some food. All right, we're delaying food. One more house. We're gonna check out Killer Clowns. It's been 30 minutes for a while, so we're hoping that it's like a true 30 minutes. But look at that JoJo ice cream. Gotta love it. Just got out of Killer Clowns, which is our halfway point. We did half, that's our fifth house. And I'm gonna be honest, if you wanna go back to our first Halloween Horror Nights vlog, I was kind of a hater on Killer Clowns. I loved it, it was awesome. It was probably the best run. Like, execution-wise, we got almost every scare except for one minor one, and then the girls behind us were losing their minds the entire time, which I think made the whole experience better. Plus, there were buttons I found this time that, like, sprayed air and water at us. Right on me. That I didn't even know existed until today. So that was a great... What did you say? Your number one so far, maybe? So far, yeah, number one. I think for tonight, it's my... I think tonight's number one for me. Tonight. It's not overall. But it's definitely in the top half now, when before it was like towards the bottom. Alright, we're about to take a break, and Caroline and Sean gave me two of these universal dining plans for services. So we're actually at the Monster Cafe, or Monster Cafe. Got great options. They even actually have a specific called the Mummy vegan option, so I'll be getting that. Look at the beef brisket, look at the chicken, look at all the delicious meat, look at that mac and cheese, look at the cornbread. All of it looks delicious. Here's my awesome side of watermelon. And there is the menu there. I think Matt went with the... Did you do the Invisible Man? No, you did the Black Lagoon salad with the brisket, tomato, eggs, grains. And I did the, the mummy, vegan, slow cooked jackfruit, crispy onions, and crunchy salt on a Kaiser roll. Delicious. All right, here is my slow roasted jackfruit with slaw, all that good stuff, some spiciness over here. I think we're gonna dine over there in the swamp dining section, which is super cool. Sarah, you gotta come in here next time we're here. There's definitely Coke Freestyle, so I'm gonna drink my weights, and hopefully strawberry cream soda. All right, here's the signing effect. Uh, well, they don't have cream soda, but we'll still make something fun. All right. We're in line for Ghostbusters. Amazing decor, amazing lights. All right, my jackfruit pulled pork thing. The guy was delicious. Watermelon was great. Yeah. I had the brisket salad. Is it good? It was really good. But we're waiting. We're, we're probably more than halfway through the line at Ghostbusters, and I think we've like blown away Matt's expectations on what to do tonight. It's gonna be our sixth house in all of your requests. Yeah. It's been fun. But it's only like 10 20, so we'll see where the night goes. We'll see. Alright, there's the door right now for Ghostbusters. House number six. Right, we've gone on a mission to see if the twisted taters are part of this dining plan. If they are, I'm doing it. I'm getting two. If they're not, I'll just get some pretzels. Either way, it's gonna happen. Alright. One's gonna be seasoned salt, one's gonna be salt and vinegar. Matt and I both got two. High five. Our credits worked, so we're gonna pig out. All right. My wife, my best friend needed some sweet treats, so we're gonna see what kind of offerings for the vegans that have this late hour. But we are done with Halloween Hornets. 
Got the hoodoo voodoo donuts for my wife, my best friend, my girl, my squeeze, and it's before midnight. Killed it. Had a great time. Ate good food. Great company. And I gotta go home because I miss my wife. It's a sleepy pup. Yeah. It's a sleepy pup. Who smells the voodoo donuts, the hoodoo voodoo. This is what you know what this means. It is October 10th. Today's daily message is brought to you by Tom Kubis and Co. Tom Kubis says, you do not have to do this. You get to do this. And Eve is looking for the donuts. Eve, they're gone. Um, I want to thank Matt for coming out to HHN with me. Go check out his Instagram. Great Disney Coffee Blogger on Instagram. We'll put the information down below. And that knocks off two thirds of my my goal limit visits to HHN. Was There's number no four limit. Or goal. Expectate goal. Yeah, goal, goal, goal. So I'm hoping to do two more before it's over. Can you tell I was sleeping? Yeah, she was doing good. She was texting me like 45 minutes ago, but then I got to the car and she stopped texting me back. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me. It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.